Welcome to the Equipment Training Solutions Rigor Safety Training Course. This program was designed to specifically give clear and concise demonstrations on the safe and proper identification, inspection, and use of rigging and rigging hardware in the construction industry following the guidelines of OSHA 1926.251, ASME B30.9, and B30.26. At the top of the page, you will notice a menu bar consisting of four buttons, the Home button, the Slings button, the Rigging Hardware button, and the Knots button. Each of these buttons, when selected, will take you to the corresponding section of our program. If at any point you wish to return to the Home page, simply select, using the left click option, the Home page button. This will return you to the main page of the program. The Slings section. By left-clicking on the Slings button, you will be directed to the Slings section of our program. You will notice on the right side of your screen a list of seven buttons. These buttons represent the different types of slings and hitches used in the construction industry. By left-clicking on one of these buttons, you will be directed to the coinciding section of that button. You will notice another set of three buttons, the Identification button, the Inspection button, and the Use button. By left-clicking on the Identification button, you will be given what information must be supplied on the manufacturer's ID tag. Once you have read and understand the information in the Identification section, you may move on to the Inspection section. By left-clicking on the Inspection button, you will be given the information needed to properly inspect and, if necessary, remove from service the corresponding sling type. This section consists of multiple pages. Once you have read and understand the information given on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If for any reason you wish to return to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back arrow at the bottom left corner of the page. Once you have read and understand all of the information given in the Inspection section, you may move on to the Use section. By left-clicking on the Use button, you will be given the information needed to properly use the corresponding slim. This section also consists of multiple pages. Once you have read and understand the information given on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If for any reason you wish to return to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back arrow at the bottom left-hand corner of the page. Once you have read and understand the information given in the Use section, you may move on by left-clicking another sling type from the first set of buttons. You will repeat these steps for each of the sling types. Once you reach the Hitch Types section, you will notice a different set of five buttons. These buttons represent the five different hitch types used in the construction industry. By left-clicking on one of these buttons, you will be directed to a video demonstrating the proper way to perform the corresponding hitch. There will also be written instructions on how to perform this hitch, along with a tip to keep in mind while rigging the load. If at any time you wish to pause this demonstration, you may do so by rolling over the video. This will reveal a play button on the bottom left corner of the video. This button allows you to stop and start the video as you feel necessary to become familiar with this specific hitch type. When you are finished with this demonstration, simply select another hitch type from the list on the right side of the screen. When you have completed and have a comfortable knowledge of all five hitch types, you may move on to another section of the program by selecting another button from the menu bar. The Rigging Hardware button. By left-clicking on the Rigging Hardware button, you will be directed to the Rigging Hardware section of our program. You will notice on the right side of your screen a list of eight buttons. These buttons represent the different types of rigging hardware used in the construction industry. By left-clicking on one of these buttons, you will be directed to the coinciding section of that button. You will notice another set of three buttons, the Identification button, the Inspection button, and the Use button. By left-clicking on the Identification button, you will be given the information the manufacturer must place on the corresponding rigging hardware. Once you have read and understand the information in the Identification section, you may move on to the Inspection section. By left-clicking on the Inspection button, you will be given the information needed to properly inspect and, if necessary, remove from service the corresponding rigging hardware. This section consists of multiple pages. 
Once you have read and understand the information given on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If for any reason you wish to return to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back arrow at the bottom left corner of the page. Once you have read and understand all of the information given in the Inspection section, you may move on to the Use section. By left-clicking on the Use button, you will be given the information necessary to properly use the corresponding rigging hardware. This section consists of multiple pages. Once you have read and understand the information given on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If for any reason you wish to return to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back arrow at the bottom left-hand corner of the page. Once you have read and understand the information given in the Use section, you may move on by left-clicking another sling type from the first set of buttons. You will repeat these steps for each of the types of rigging hardware. When you have completed and have comfortable knowledge of all eight types of rigging hardware, you may move on to another section of the program by selecting another button from the menu bar. The Knots button. By left-clicking on the Knots button, you will be directed to the Knots section of our program. This section is designed to clearly demonstrate how to properly tie the five most common knots used in the construction industry. You will notice on the right side of your screen a list of five buttons. The buttons represent the five most commonly used knots in the construction industry. By left-clicking on one of these buttons, you will be directed to a video demonstrating the proper way to perform the corresponding knot. If at any time you wish to pause this demonstration, you may do so by rolling over the video. This will reveal a play button on the bottom left corner of the video. This button allows you to stop and start the video as you feel necessary to become familiar with the proper technique in tying the knot. If at the end of the video you wish to view it again, you may do so by clicking the play button. When you are finished with this demonstration, simply select another knot from the list on the right hand side of the screen. When you have completed and have comfortable knowledge of all five knots, you may move on to another section of the program by selecting another button from the menu bar. Once you have completed all of the sections of the ETS Rigor Safety Training Course and have a comfortable understanding of their contents, you may move on to the review questions in your ETS Rigor Safety Training Course Student Guide.